guys. Here we're gonna do Story of a Girl, Absolutely, by Nine Days. This song was a big hit when it came out, disappeared for a while. I've had a band playing it for a little bit, and it seems to be making a comeback in a lot of other bands I see around the area. So we're gonna get into this one. By the way, this is Shredder, who's making an appearance now. But uh, yeah, if you guys like what you're seeing, smash the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and pass it along to any guitar playing friends. All right, thanks a lot, guys, and let's get into it. Story of a Girl <clears throat> starts out with your C9, adding your D in here, and you're also going to add the higher fifth G on the third fret of the E string. Most of the chords, barring the D major and B minor, are going to have this G ringing in the high end of them. So it's going to start out with a C9, G major, then we're going to do an A with an open A string, 2nd fret of the D, 2nd fret of the G, 3rd fret on the B and E to D. Then we're going to do a B minor to that same C9 with the 5th on top, and N on the end. So it's going to be... That's going to be the intro and the chorus, and then after that change, it's going to go. And again, that G's in there. And then that's going to take us into the verse. Okay, the verse comes in, we're going to start on B. We're going to go to C, G, and D. going to go through that four times until it brings in the pre-chorus. Okay, in comes the pre-chorus. I believe I still hear the G and the uh, D here being included in every chord, either B and E string, third fret. But the first chord is going to be an E. Then we're going to do, it's an F sharp in the bass, but the chord is a D. So you're going to make with F sharp in the bass, then a G, and then the A again. So you get that. E, then F sharp D to A. And then it's going to go back into the chorus. Over the pre-chorus, you're going to hear this little lick. Starts on G note here on your B string, 8th fret. And it's going... Nice little muff on my part there. And I think I just saw Shredder sneaking in when he jumped on my chair in the lower corner there. Hi, Shreddy. Okay, after the pre-chorus, we go into the chorus, and then we're gonna come back into the verse. And the first half of the verse is going to be like scatting a little octave of a G, and the second half of it, it's gonna move between B and C. And I don't think the pattern is steady any time. It's just like. And then it's going to go back into the pre-chorus and back again into the chorus. All right, coming out of the second chorus, we're not going to do the uh, G, D, and C thing. We're just going to go right into the E. And you're going to hear a little scatting around on an instrument. And then under the chorus, it's going to go into the solo. Now, the only thing I ever know about the solo is just... You started out with a bend. I play the solo mostly out of G major. And I seem to have no problem working with it. Obviously, you try to end around on your B a lot. Then it's going to come back out, go into the pre chorus, go into a clean chorus, and then go back into the full chorus, coming back around and ending on the. And that 
that is the story of a girl.